next falcon is the orange breasted falcon this is uh it looks similar to the apomato and the bat falcon but it's much larger it has it's basically the size of a large peregrine falcon and it has massive feet and just enormous feet uh very similar to a peregrine but thicker and it needs a more tropical temperature than any of the other north american falcons and uh, this is where we expect to see them on cliff faces like this. Here's uh, at that cliff face, here's a baby coming out to say hi. And you can see uh, just how large they are. This is one being banded at a nest site. So uh, they're, they're large, they're big, um, but we really have to take a special notice on their feet. Uh, there's a big difference between the female and male. As with all other falcons, the female is much larger. But the, the orange is so vibrant. But take a look at those feet. Uh, Orange-breasted falcons may be the only falcon with feet proportionately larger than peregrines. And you look at that. Look at the outer toes, just how far out they spread. And there's an important reason for that. They have long, thick toes uh, because they hunt parrots. Parrots have beaks that can tear apart trees and can crack open giant nuts and they can bite a toe right off. So if you're going after a parrot for your food, you better be sure that you can dispatch your food very quickly before it can turn around and bite your whole leg off. That's why it's so important that they have those giant toes. There's a couple pictures from the Peregrine Fund that they sent me of some of their captive birds on the, on the right there. So, bright yellow sear, bright yellow around the eyes, and orange on the chest. So, there you go from uh, uh, orange-breasted falcons down in the Yucatan Peninsula to jeer falcons up near the North Pole. Uh, North America is uh, has a wide range of falcons. So, now here's a quick quiz time, and uh, hopefully some of what I, I shared in this program will help you identify some of these. So... What do you think this one is? This actually is an incredibly dark peregrine falcon. It's nearly black. This one is a captive bred peregrine, first year bird. This is a black merlin falcon, uh, Suclei. This one is a prairie falcon, an adult. You can see the yellow on the sear there. This is a trick. This is a first year Cooper's hawk. Um, shape of the wings and uh, shape of the head and the eyes gives it away. This is a first year prairie falcon. This is a, an American kestrel. This is an Aplomato falcon. And this is a what we call a blonde first-year peregrine. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation. Again, I, I put this together for the Great Salt Lake Bird Festival, uh, but hopefully you found some value in it and learned a thing or two. If you would like to learn more about falconry or about birds of prey or about wildlife, check out my YouTube channel. I've got a lot of videos about a lot of different species, and I'm trying to put as much information out there so people can learn about, uh, about wildlife. So thank you so much for watching.